remember that fucking time you spray painted that goddamn railing oh. across the street? And the motherfucker came out and started yelling at you and grabbed you and wouldn't no, let you go? I barely started tagging it and then all of a sudden I hear this free steps like and I turn around and I'm like, oh fuck and I he was like, What are you doing? I was like, No no, I was just trying to see if it would I would give it a different color. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, Come on, we're gonna go see the um manager and I was like, No, I don't want to see her, she's a witch. I was just holding on to the pole like, No, no. No shit? No. And then, um, he was all like, where do you live? And he took me home and, really? I fucking hit mm -hmm. under the bed. I'm on Facebook, I was playing a music video. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a couple times I remember. Remember that time he threw that rock at that lady's fucking car? You remember that? You came running around the alley and she, you were like, you didn't see me, you didn't see me. Remember that? And she comes, she come pulling around the fucking alley. She said, have you seen a small kid around here? I was like, no, nah, I haven't seen anybody. You know, I wasn't going to rat you out, but she, you threw a rock at this bitch's car or something. I think he was chucking rocks a little with the Mexican kids or something, but mm. they used to, you remember Jesus and David? Oh, yeah. So, and then there was another time when I chucked that fucking water balloon at those guys' truck. Remember that? You were hiding in the front of the Cadillac? I think so, yeah. You remember that, dude? I and then Dad so. almost threw your fucking little red scooter at him. He picked it up and was gonna chuck it at him. That's when he was lifting a lot, and he was like, "Wasn't he all like, you better get the fuck out of here?" Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, dude, I actually hit the motherfuckers with the water balloon. Damn. I actually did, and like, as soon as I saw it hit, or I, saw, I, I knew like I had like one third of a second to go before it hit, and he got a reaction and shit. So I was like, "Fuck." Because Dad was on the chair sleeping. Mm -hmm. And when he was sleeping after work, dude, you ain't no waking him up. Mm -hmm. So I jumped right into fucking, I ran inside. I was like, all right, how in the hell am I going to get out of this? So I jumped into my night shit real quick. Mm -hmm. Like I went to bed. I was, like, oh, I was fucking tired. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came in. I've been sleeping here. You know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember that's when they came to the door knocking. And I remember my fucking heart racing, dude. So very few moments that give me heart races like that, and that was one of them. And I, I think I was like eleven or twelve, and I mm -hmm. hit them with the fuckers. And he was like, "You gotta get the fuck out of here!" I remember was like, one of them gay? I think, but yeah, he said something about I don't know. I don't know what was said. I think he said like something about cocksucker or something. He's like, I am a cocksucker, and that's when Dad almost threw that fucking <sighs> scooter at him. I think I might have been peeking out of the You were peeking out of the fucking passenger window. You were hiding in where you put in the fucking dash where you, where you put yeah. your feet and shit. That was fucking hilarious. Like, now looking back at it, or like, you were there for so many situations, too. And it's just, it's fucking amazing how we made it as far as we did. You know? Nope. It's, yeah, it's fucking crazy. Remember we, you, me and you, Dad and Uncle Victor, tree runs and shit. Oh, when we fun. used to have Stanley, Uncle Victor used to call him Rick James because he's a big black standard poodle. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that time he pissed on Daddy's. Um... Oh, Dad's fucking. Oh, Grandpa's grave. Yeah. Oh, dude, I get pissed too. He pissed right on the grave, dude. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Like I think about it now, I'm like, like the, the situation was hilarious. Even Dad laughs about it now, but at that time it wasn't so funny. <laughs> Cause I was just looking at it. I was just looking at other people's graves, and all I heard is "Get the fuck out of here!" And I see Stanley fucking running. <laughs> no, he, he go. He takes up the hill and shit. Yeah, I remember that dude. He's like, cause he didn't have a tail to tuck. He just had that <laughs> big, big black fucking afro puff yeah. on his tail. So he didn't have any. He's trying, dude. Oh, uh, I miss that big puppy. Oh, I know. He's been gone, though. I talk to Vicky sometimes. Nice. Haven't been in a while. <sighs> um, but, yeah. I mean, you remember when those Ram Ramona fucks came down? Were you there for that? Yeah, because I, I think I just came home. And you answered the, Who answered the door? No, you were, you were in the window, but you were peeking out, and you were telling me, hey, tell them you're not here and stuff. And then, um, fucking Judy... Fucking comes out and be like, if you guys don't get out of here, I'm gonna call out cops. Oh, fuck, I remember that. Now that you mention that, I do remember that. 
I do fucking remember that. I do, because she was still around at that time. Yeah. And then... The, Are you the, sure? Cause, you know, I, I think it was like... I was like... I had to have been at least 16. <clears throat> Maybe. At least, dude. Were you still in middle school or high school? I was in middle school. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. 16, <laughs> where was I? I think I was in like 10th grade or something. Oh, shit. Don't ask me how 11 and 12 took so fucking long, but they did. Um, but no, I remember mom <laughs> Mom got a, a little box and put Sonic's... I remember that. Put Sonic's dog shit on the bottom. You, you, uh, And then I the fucking handed it to her and it had a little note on top and it said, saw this and thought of you. And, and it was, she, she like, opens it up and then she throws it back at our window. She was like, oh, thank you so much. No, she, her friend was like, oh. You're so sweet. And they open it up and then they immediately went from fucking touch to pissed. Then <laughs> we tap, dude. They, we, the things we used to do, they shit, dude. We'd be on the fucking phone and we'd be talking. I'd be, we'd be like sending these fucked up rap things back to each other, like whoop that trick. Like we'd be sending these stupid songs back to each other and shit. Yeah. So they couldn't fuck with me because I was listening to Easy E and NWA. So yeah, that's as far as that went. And oh shit. Yeah, those are some fucking good stories and some good fucking times, bro. Ooh, what's another good one? There's, oh man, there's too many. Um. Oh man, remember that, action, remember that time I stabbed you with a fishing knife at the temple? Oh, fuck. I accidentally did that. I told dude I was a fucking, I, I thought mom and dad were going to send me away because I was such a son of a bitch from yeah. like five years old up. So. Yeah, I think I No, thought, I think you just barely... Nicked me right here, but you didn't get any. Yeah, but you ratted on me, motherfucker. You told him that I stabbed you. I told him, because remember we had those fucked up cabinets? Things that little metal prongs that came out, and like when you closed it, it latched onto the whatever. Uh huh. Told him, I was like, dude, just tell him you fucking bumped into that. How sad, how, you know? But, yeah, I remember I, I woke up and they found, I, I found out that they knew what I did, and I was like, um, alright. What the fuck's gonna go on now? I thought, dude, back then I was afraid, bro. If I fucked up, that that's what kept me out of jail. It's because when I, you know, yeah. just thinking about it, like, no one's scarier than my old man. <laughs> <laughs> or that time you accidentally, um, uh, got into that bicycle guy. Oh. You were, you were rollerblading too fast and you couldn't I know, stop I was it. on my bike. He was the one running. I was on a bike. Cause oh, yeah, was, your head kind of hit the um the pegs. No, not the pegs. No, he had. He, it was this fuck. Remember that fucking corner you couldn't see around by Navy Housing when you yeah, were going into Mission yeah. Bay? Yeah, you couldn't see around that fucker. So he was coming, and I was hauling ass, like trying to cruise through that shit really quick and just hop down and like get into there real fast. Mm -hmm. But as, because I seen him, he was right there, and all of a sudden, boom! I fucking, I still got the scar. I Did just shoot Nick you or No dude it was his fucking chin. His chin busted my head open. I hit him that hard. Remember I came home with fucking my hand is all bloody and my yeah. face is just all bloody. And I think mom and dad and I were home and we all were all like, What the fuck happened? Yeah, they and all he came to the door and he was like, Yeah, you're so nice that we kinda collided into each other. But he was he was cool. Yeah, he was cool about it, because he seen I was just a kid and shit, you know. Yeah. I wasn't like I don't know. Well, I mean, I was—I think I was like around thirteen or fourteen. Had to have been around that age. Yeah. Because that's when I started listening to Eminem, and then I discovered Dr. Dre, and then I discovered N.W.A. and Easy and all that shit. Yeah. Oh man.